Hello and welcome to the classic Hollywood movie you should know. I'm Nate Washburn and this week movies from 1959, North by Northwest, starring Cary Grant, Eva Marie Saint, James Mason, and a very young Martin Landau, directed by Alfred Hitchcock. Now, it's taken me many weeks to do a Hitchcock movie. I am an unabashed Hitchcock fan, uh, seen I'd say the majority of his movies, and it, it took me this long to pick one just because there are so many options to choose from. Now Hitchcock, he started his career in the 20s, his British director, he started in the 20s making silent movies, and his career ended in the 70s. He died in 1980. He was successful throughout that entire period, a 50-year career. There are very few directors who achieved the level of success that Alfred Hitchcock had. North by Northwest, can almost be classified as a James Bond movie. The story, Cary Grant plays Roger Thornhill, who right in the beginning, within the first five, 10 minutes of the movie, he goes to the Oak Room at the Plaza Hotel for a drink. While he's there, these two henchmen confuse Roger Thornhill for George Kaplan, and they try to kill him. Kaplan is this spy who they are after, this weird mistaken identity. They think Cary Grant's Roger Thornhill is Kaplan. There are a couple scenes in this movie that are so iconic. There's one sequence where Roger Thornhill, Cary Grant gets dropped off in the middle of nowhere by this bus and he's standing, there's cornfields all around and he gets attacked by a plane, a crop duster. There's also the climax occurs at Mount Rushmore. They shot footage at the Visitor Center Mount Rushmore. Granted, the stuff where they're climbing on the, the sculptures themselves was done in a Hollywood lot, but the whole sequence of them climbing over the faces in Mount Rushmore for the climax is another one that you see the images as iconic images of classic Hollywood. And even Hitchcock, Hitchcock had a sort of a dirty sense of humor. So the end of the movie, Eva Marie Saint's character, Eve Kendall and Thornhill, are in a train, they start kissing, and then it cuts to the train entering a tunnel. And that is the final image. Now I have to give credit where credit is due. I don't think this movie would be nearly as good as it is without the performance of James Mason, who plays Philip Van Dam. Now one thing that Mason has going for him is just, he's almost frightening because he is so charming and so, sort of measured in the way that he deals with people. When he was asked about how he played villains so convincingly and so well, he was quoted as saying, I'll tell you a minor secret of playing villains. Mine are usually polite and almost invariably charming. Nobody likes a nasty villain. It's also one of Hitchcock's most successful movies. This movie was budgeted at $3.1 million. It made over $10 million in the US. It grossed over $20 million worldwide. This was one of his biggest hits. And yet, it's not as known today from people of my generation as, say, Psycho or The Birds. So if you're a fan of James Bond movies, if you like spy thrillers, if you've seen a couple of Hitchcocks, if you know Psycho, you know The Birds, but you don't know anything else, watch North by Northwest. It's one of Hitchcock's best. It is this week's classic Hollywood movie you should know. I'm Nate Washburn. Keep watching.